Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Talk Ray Bradbury. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do. All right, so we are getting on with Let's Talk Ray Bradbury. We are down to story number 90 of 100 in this collection, Bradbury Stories, and I've been reviewing them all. So that leaves us with uh, just 10 more to go. But today's tale is Icarus Montgolfier Wright. On the night before a historic rocket launch, uh, Jedediah Apprentice has a dream. Um, in this dream, uh, he is named uh, Icarus Montgolfier Wright, a name that combines um, three important figures from history and mythology involving the field of flight. Um, Icarus, of course, being the, uh, the man who flew too close to the sun with his wax wings, and um, which of course melted. Mount Gaultier was the first to fly uh, in an air balloon. And of course, Wright is a reference to the Wright brothers. Uh, but he's eager for glory, uh, eager of joining this pantheon of historic figures who um, risked danger and became the first in their field. Uh, he is warned, this, warned of his danger, uh, but uh, he's determined, and so when he wakes up the next day, uh, he sort of marches off towards his rocket to begin his historic flight. <laughs> you know, it's a good idea. It's a romantic notion. I kind of like it. Um, I like the concept that our deeds sort of uh, connect us to the past, and we sort of stand on the shoulders of those who came before us. But there's also this <clears throat> there's also this warming of danger to of being the first to attempt something, and he's certainly um, ready to accept that danger and the risk of his death. Um, it's the idea that uh, basically the quest for glory and the quest to accomplish something um, it could go either way. You know, you could um, fly too close to the sun and die. Or and fall, or you could succeed, and then others will stand on your back, and you will become uh, the person uh, whose name is added to this title. Um, it could easily be Icarus Montgolfier Wright um, Prentice after Jedi Apprentice. Um, that said, you know it's it's not a great story. Um, very thinly held together, um, just a couple pages. Um, feels um, thinly connected. Feels slightly aloof. On the other hand, um, that aloofness is sort of characteristic of the way dreams work, so I guess it's not all bad, but um, it's not likely to be a story that I feel compelled to reread re in the future. Um, but maybe the story uh, is better suited to your um, your personality. So, have you read Icarus Montgolfier Wright? Uh, please drop a comment in the comment section below if you have something constructive to say and want to add to the conversation. Of course, give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you soon with a review of Death and the Maiden, which will be um, number 91 of 100. See you later.